Hi, my name is Erin Schmitz, Program Manager at the Skolnick House of the Depression Era, part of the Lakeshore Museum Center. We're starting a new series, Artifact Detective. And you might have seen this series with some still shots on our Facebook page, but we thought we'd start making some videos like this to show you um, a real artifact. We're here at the Skolnick House of the Depression Era on Clay Avenue, part of the Lakeshore Museum Center. And our first artifact that we want to share with you is this cabinet right here. So it may just look like a typical china cabinet with your special things inside, but actually this china cabinet has quite a story. During the Great Depression, many people didn't have jobs and relied on part-time work. And that's where this cabinet comes in. A man here in Muskegon named Henry Westerhouse worked two days a week at Brunswick, making bowling lanes, bowling balls, and other equipment. And every week, a load of garbage would be taken outside. And in that garbage were these planks. So some of the garbage was taken outside. So each week, Brunswick would throw away certain pieces that they wouldn't need to continue their bowling alley work. And so Henry picked up the scrap pieces and you can see here that they're made out of bowling lanes. And he constructed this cabinet. So many people during the Great Depression used their resources wisely. And so he thought, this isn't garbage, this is beautiful wood that I can make a cabinet for my family out of and was donated to the museum in 2006 for the Skolnick House of the Depression Era. We hope you enjoyed this artifact as much as we enjoy it, and we'll see you next time on Artifact Detective. Stay tuned.